This is the story about Boys Week 2003 when Jay, Brendan, and Dad went out to see five baseball games in four cities in one week. And here's what happened. All right, Boys Week continues. We've, uh, we're at a rest stop about two miles west of Westchester. Uh, we've just made our first stop two hours west of Westchester, not two miles. Uh, so what have we learned so far? Brendan, tell me about your Marco Polo uh, thing. You asked if Marco Polo was blind, and that's why we did. Uh, that's why the game Marco Polo was invented, right? That was classic. So I'm starving. And uh, we just stole some uh, knives to make uh, peanut butter and jellies. So and now we're gonna get gas. No, and now we're going in. So. And what's the weather like, guys? It's supposed to have storms tonight, so the game might get rained out. Yeah. And we collected 17 license plates right here. Yeah. And we got some truckers to honk at us. Oh, 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 this is what Boys Week's all about. Watching guys mess up skateboarding. Hey Brendan, you excited? Obvious. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Of course. We're at PNC Park, the homies. So we paid $15 to park. Yeah. It's more of a ripoff than uh, parking at the vet. But I think the stadium's better and cooler. Plus, we're a lot closer, right across the street. And there's a still little stadium. So, who are you rooting for? I'm Pirates. Oh. Okay. The Bills. Look at me. The Bills. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, the boys are standing at the statue of Willie Stargell, right outside uh, PNC Stadium. Brendan, how big is it? Here we are at Outback Steakhouse overlooking PNC Park. We're going to have some dinner. Our first time in the Outback. You can see the pirates are uh, getting the same picture. Jay, you're up. No? Oh, Jay, that's not nice. How are you? We were just having steakhouse. Hey, Brendan, how are your cheese fries? Hey, you could put their bacon on it. Really? What's the B stand for on your hat? Bacon? The B on your hat. Does it stand for bacon? Be on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Jay, what'd you have for dinner? Wings and cheese fries with Here's another view from the Outback Steakhouse from the deck. The boys are full on their wings and uh, cheese fries. Not bad, it was 25 bucks with tip for dinner since we just ate appetizers. So these are our seats for the game. We're here, it's um, 5.30, they just opened the gates. Jay and Brendan are down. The Oscars are warming up on this side. And we are seven seats. We are seven seats from the field. Seven rows. And it's a beautiful night here in Pittsburgh. 
Hard to believe they were calling for showers. So the battery of the camera ran out during the Pirates game, so we didn't get to show you any highlights. We are now back at the hotel, and we have not had enough baseball. Jay is watching the Cubs game on ESPN right now. Uh, maybe Brendan will take a moment to tell us what happened in the game. Um, they won 5-3, to three, and pretty good ball. I got a ball, and... Tell them about where we sat. Um, first we sat along the fourth oh, base line, like, like seven rows behind, and second place we sat next to the foul. Like to show you this butt again. Foul post. Next to the left field foul post up high, so we could get a foul ball. Yeah. Double, almost a home run. And then, Jay, where did we sit for the last couple of innings? Behind me. <laughs> <laughs> where? How close to the Pirates' dugout were we? No, we didn't. Four seats away. No, two seats away. We didn't sit, sit behind him, Blake. We sat. Me and Jay sat. Three seats, three rows behind Pirate Dugout, and that sat between four. Like, not on a four. And, and how many home runs were hit in the game? Three. I'm telling you three. Three. Okay. three. And that sat like seven rows behind. <laughs> so where do we go tomorrow? Toledo to see Toledo weather. Yeah. On day two, we had to get up early to drive to Toledo to see the Toledo Mud Hens play the Pawtucket Red Sox. It's 6.32 a.m. on Tuesday mornings, and I think the Breslin boys have hit the wall. As you can see, I'm up and at them, all ready to go. But Jay and Brendan are stuck in bed. They've had trouble getting up this morning. Uh, the Motel 6, or Super 8 Motel, bed is just too comfortable for them and after a tough night of partying at PNC Park with the Pirates watching the Pirates beat the Strohs the boys are having trouble getting up but we were due on the road by 7 a.m. to make it to um, fifth third field by noon for the Toledo Mud Hens Pawtucket Red Sox game so the boys are going to be getting themselves into gear soon especially when they find out that free continental breakfast has already started I knew that would get him up. <laughs> Is that sausage? What happened to <coughs> Brendan, what happened? I got my down to the toilet and no one can get it. Alright, put it on the floor. What do you have for breakfast, boys? I had two donuts 
and the Lego tree sandwiches, you must know, yeah. Daddy. <laughs> What do you think of the stadium? It's cool. Big. Grassy. These are our seats for the third row and on the third base line. And you can get some ground balls. Bear, are you going to catch some foul balls today? Yeah. Yeah? What are you going to do when you catch them? I think I let me see. There's a look at the, the coop up there. Jay and It's the fifth one. It's the fifth one. And then how's your hot dog? Yeah? How come we have a 95 balls? Oh yeah, I got a ball. Who gave it to you? Huh? Who gave it to you? After we got into our car in the parking lot, fortunately we were in a parking garage because it started pouring and we had to find our ways to the lovely Days Inn through lovely downtown Toledo and finally ended up at this beautiful hotel. There was so much rain that when it sprayed up you couldn't even see it. Yes. Dun 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 dun. And the highway was flooding. But like mud hens, we are now mud hens because we are wet and in our beautiful days in, which is a rather large room, but um, Go mud hens! They won! Here's Brendan with his mud hens hat. They do! We made 50 cents for a local call. What kind of place is this? If I ran a hotel, it would be $5. And for oh. long distance, 20 Alright, we're here. This is Lake Erie. And we had to drive past all these oil refineries to get here. But here's the final view as you come past the oil refineries now. I guess you can see Lake Erie. And uh, we're all playing on Jay's belly today. We just saw the mud hens earlier today. Toledo is a beautiful place. And we're having a lot of fun. And I got a new Toledo mud hens out. So did Brendan. How did you zoom in? Hold on. Come on. Eee, Toledo mud hens. I'm a mud hen. This is Brendan. He's my little mud hen. <laughs> and I'm going to toss him into Lake Erie. <laughs> One, two, 
Three. No, Dad, don't. There you go, he's all gone. I threw Brendan into Lake Erie. Now we can even get home faster. Hey, Mom, it's mm -hmm. your dream come true when you watch this. Mommy Bay. It's Mommy Bay. Mommy, we did think about you when we were on vacation. Even though we're spelling we errors? We really did. Even though we kind of stink at spelling, and we probably spelled it wrong, we love you. YouTuber? So we just ate at Tony Paco's Cafe right over my shoulder here in East Toledo. And um, 